Welcome to another edition of SoCal Sense. I am Jeff. This is vlog number eight, where I discuss everything I do with fragrances for the week, whether it's what I'm wearing, what I did going shopping, hot takes, all of that and everything in between. Uh, this week, I got to try some new releases. When I went to the mall, I got to try H24 Herbs Vives. I got to try Red Leather by Ferragamo. And I got to try a couple new niche fragrances like Blue Talisman that I've never got to experience. And then some hot takes thrown in there as well throughout. Uh, so this is the week vlog number eight of my week with fragrances. Warm day in Los Angeles. It's Monday. I am going to be wearing, actually I am wearing a Hire by Dior. Probably the last time I'm going to wear this one. My bottle's on the, it doesn't really have the top notes anymore. It's kind of an old bottle but I did enjoy it for when I did have it and I definitely plan on spraying something else on later today, but shout out to Higher Dior. Great fragrance, definitely should still be on the market today. Um, but yeah, Monday. Monday night. My fragrance of the night I taught class tonight is Intelligent Platinum. It's about to come out. It's really, really nice. It's super candy sweet, playful, fun. It's that kind of like, if you like in that ultra male world where that, that super fresh, sweet kind of fragrance, this is it. Intelligent Platinum smells great, um, but that's my fragrance of the night for Monday. It is Tuesday in Los Angeles. It's actually hot out. I went for a walk, it's super hot. My fragrance of the afternoon so far is the Cas Blanc Eau Fraiche. It's warm, it's one of my favorite fragrances. Figured I'd throw it on. I'll definitely wear something different tonight. Uh, well, that's the plan, but yeah, the Cas Blanc Eau Fraiche. Wednesday, I am currently at the mall looking for some stuff. Hopefully they have some new releases. Uh, my fragrance of the day is Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger. I uh, wore this morning and figured to just keep on wearing it until it fades out and I'll wear something different tonight. Checking out Blue Talisman out. It smells nice and clean. It's really light and barely smell it, but it is super nice. So check out Blue Talisman if you haven't tried it yet. Um, they do have the entire line. If you want me to try any of these other ones, let me know. Leaving Bloomingdale's, I sprayed on Ex Neo's uh, Blue Talisman. It smells really, really good. The other one that I liked was Hedonist, uh, but Blue Talisman is apparently sold out for the next like two to three months. Um, it's not available anywhere worldwide, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, Blue Talisman smells really nice. CK1 is the most sold unisex fragrance of all time. It came out in the 90s. It's nice. It smells like it's the most light and offensive scent ever for guys, for girls, everybody. Don't really recommend it in 2024, but it is a superstar for how long it has lasted the test of time. But honestly, don't recommend it in 2024. Leaving Macy's. Honestly, this store frustrates me because it's a huge store with a ton of products, but they are like the last one to get the new releases in. Um, so I'll keep trying it, but I never have good luck in this Macy's. The new H24 Herbes Vives, or Herbs Vives, however you want to say this one. So this one uses a pear note. It's super interesting. It still kind of has that cucumber Gatorade feel with the pear note added to it. Um, it kind of just smells like green leaves, but in like a fresh way. Um, so far, it's the nicest H24, the most wearable, I feel like. But yeah, this is definitely one to check out if you like green fragrances. H24 Herbs Vives. Red Leather by Ferragamo. This is a really nice, like, fresh, spicy fragrance. I think it can be versatile. I think you can honestly pretty much wear this year-round. Like, I feel like it's fresh enough. Like, I wouldn't choose a hot summer day, but I don't think it would smell awful on a hot summer day. Interesting, interesting release, this guy. Um, I like bright leather. I like spicy leather. I like Ferragamo by Ferragamo. I like intense leather. Um, they haven't messed around with this line. But so far, I don't hate this one. So I'm gonna, I got a sample, I'm gonna test it around a little bit more. So, currently wearing the red leather and the sales associate told me she had reminded her of cleaner, which I can kind of get. It still smells nice to me though. But yeah, it's kind of funny that she was like, no, it's, it's like cleaner to me. And I was like, all right. Still tested with the guests, but red leather, Ferragamo. On my way to see Ghostbusters, um, I am wearing uh, Born to be Unforgettable by Killian. Uh, 
one of my favorite releases so far this year. Super nice. It's a good spring day. It's nice and warm outside. I filmed with a brand new guest today and the first video, if you're watching this on Monday, she just smelled Perseus. We have a first lady's reaction to Perseus on the channel. And uh, you should definitely tune in if you are curious about that one, if you haven't watched it already. But yeah, I'm heading to go see Ghostbusters. Check out some Gorilla Mine. What's up guys, it's Friday. My scent of the night is Authentic Night by Abercrombie & Fitch. This is nice. If you took Fierce, smashed it with Ultra Male, you kind of get this. It's a really fun, play, playful fragrance. So Authentic Night by Abercrombie & Fitch. You can buy it super cheap online, but this is a huge compliment puller. Great for a night on the town. Sunday, I'm headed to the gym. I'm wearing Canary Diamond by Hawthorne. It kind of smells like this grilled tropical pineapple. Um, interesting fragrance you can buy for decently priced. Uh, and it's made by some of the Tom Ford perfumers. So solid, solid, semi-affordable fragrance. Just got in Canary Diamond from Hawthorne. Now this is their newest fragrance. It is a smoked pineapple sea salt pedigrain vetiver private island fragrance. It's kind of this tropical pineapple that is smoked and grilled, like a grilled pineapple that you would get on like a barbecue. That's kind of what it comes off with, with a grilled pineapple with a touch of salt. Having worn this, people are gonna go, does it smell like Aventus? While they both share pineapple, how this uses pineapple is a little bit different and how this uses pineapple. People always go, this is kind of smoky too, because it uses birch. It doesn't have the same type of feeling, but they both use pineapple. Think of this as like a tropical grilled pineapple fragrance. Definitely worth checking out. See if you like it. Uh, but yeah, grilled, grilled tropical pineapple is what I get. Fragrance of the night is Prada Ocean Eau de Toilette. That one's a superstar compliment getter for me. The Eau de Parfum I think smells nice, but has failed miserably on the channel so far. I'll keep on testing it with the ladies, but it's like a negative 0 for 2 right now. So that was my full week of fragrances. I think that my favorite fragrance that I wore this week was probably, honestly, is probably going to be Prada Ocean Eau de Toilette. I wore that on Sunday night. It smelled all great throughout Sunday night. And then as I went to bed, I could still smell it on me. And it's just one of those people-pleasing fragrances. It was my most complimented fragrance of 2022. It's a superstar for me. The ladies like that one a lot. Anytime I've tested Ocean EDP on the channel, the ladies have not really enjoyed EDP. In fact, it's it's pretty negatively bad right now, which is weird because I actually enjoy the EDP, but I like the EDT significantly more because I just feel like it has way more personality than the EDP. And they, they don't really share too much in common besides name. So if you're looking for the compliment getter, it's the EDT of the, the two, but um, I'm, I'm starting to think that maybe the Eau de Parfum version of Ocean is more of that that dudes love, but girls don't really like style of fragrance. That happens all the time. Unfortunately, there's always going to be like that fragrance like Pure Havan or uh, a lot of times people call Aventus the boxer dropper. But this, this Prada Ocean Eau de Parfum has not done well on the test, but the Eau de Toilette has done amazing on the fragrance test. So that was my favorite fragrance that I wore this week. Uh, I am going to give Red Leather and uh, H24 Herbs Vibes all wear in this next coming week. Um, and I'll post that whenever I do that. I've tested both on my hands. And the, the new H24 is the most mass appealing of all the H24s. And Red Leather was nice, but it was weird hearing the um, fragrance clerk just hate it. So I will test out both, see how they both do. And it's warm in Los Angeles now. So let me know in the comments what you guys have been wearing. Um, we're in this, we're fully in the spring. We're past spring. If you haven't checked out this past week's video, make sure you check that out. And yeah, um, check the top 10 spring, check out last week's video and check out the vlogs. I made a playlist of just the vlogs. Bye guys.